welcome back to my channel, Regay Lone. It has been a long minute since I've uploaded a video, but I've just been busy living life, doing me. Anyway, so today, as you know by the title, we are going to be detangling some very matted hair. And it's in a bun right now. It's been in a bun since Monday, and today is Sunday. So that's what, six days? So I'm gonna give you a little backstory on to how I got this way. Okay, so on Monday, six days ago, I went whitewater rafting, which was fun, very fun. But, but I had my hair out in a ponytail and I'll try to insert a picture here. So I had my hair out in a ponytail and then this happened, the whitewater rafting happened here and my hair just kind of shrunk up like shrunk all the way up it was nice and a long little flowy ponytail and then it shrunk all the way up into a little ball so i had my i was just wearing my hair in a ball i wasn't going anywhere it's summertime and then i went to a little dinner last night so i was like okay my bun needs to be very slicked back and everything so i just got in the shower and i just wet my hair didn't comb through it just wet it and all this matted glory and I put a little conditioner in it just softened it up and I got out threw it in a bun which is what it is now so now I am ready to wash it and deal with it but it is matted so I'm not gonna get in the shower and just try to wash it because I'm gonna rip all my hair out so today for this detangling process you will need an empty spray bottle that you're gonna fill with hot water. I got this from Family Dollar, I believe. You will need some Aussie Moist Conditioner. This is my favorite conditioner to detangle with because it has a lot of slip. If you know any more that has more slip, let me know, I'll try it out. But this is the best that I've found so far. And you will need some oil. In this bottle is a mixture of Jamaican Mango and Lime Island Oil and Do Grow Anti-Itch Oil, all in the same bottle. So I'm going to go fill this bottle up to about right here with hot water, not boiling water, but like as hot as your sink gets. My sink doesn't get to boiling, your sink gets to boiling, not boiling, but some good hot water to about right here and then I'll be back. So I am back and I have my water filled up to there and I'm just going to take the top off again. And then I'm going to take my Aussie Moist and do about three pumps into it. It's gonna be hard to put on camera, so let's see. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna die. One, two, three. I'm gonna do two more. So four. four five okay so five points of Aussie moist that's what it looks like before you shake it up and then put some oil just show you how much I squeeze in there okay that's enough oil and now put the top back on so top back on shake it up really good this is very important you want all of everything to be mixed up very well if you can still see chunks of anything like if you can see there's chunks of Aussie Moist still floating around shake harder so I think some water was coming out of my top so I'm just gonna close that up so of some sort just like an old towel just to put down on your legs or around your shoulder because your hair is going to drip so I cannot get that piece separated so I'm just gonna spray oh, I closed it open it back up I'm just gonna spray
Okay, now it's coming up. Spray some on the end of my hair, just a few pumps. Massage that in there. Okay, and then try this another time. Okay, I got a section. Finally. Tie this up and begin to get to work. Ooh. Spray, 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 spray. Massage it in there. So now that it's wet, I'm gonna take just a little of some more Aussie Moist and put it on there. Literally about this much. And just rub it on there. It just really makes the hair slippery, so that's what I'm gonna do. And just run my fingers through, pull pieces apart. Try not to rip anything. So my hair has been in a bun for almost a week, so there is gonna be some shedding, so like hair is just gonna be coming out when you're pulling it. You can just ball that up, get it off your fingers, and set it to the side. And if your hair gets like too dry, you can spray it again and keep working through. So this section appears to be fully detangled and now we're just gonna keep doing this for the rest of my hair I think working in small sections is gonna be better than mid sections it may take longer but you'll get a better detangle that way with a little less fighting with it so this section is good
Okay, so we are back with the last section to detangle. And it is this side right here. So once it, ooh, hair stuck to the lip. Okay, so once again, we're gonna take our little solution, um, spray it down. Really just rub the water in there. Take Aussie Moist, put a little, a little in our hands. Rub this in there too. And then just start to detangle it with your fingers. So I'm gonna add a little more water to the ends. And then just detangle. Detangle, detangle, detangle. All right, so at this moment, I think this section is good. So I can go ahead and twist it up. Okay, so now that my hair is fully detangled and in twists, I'm just going to go shampoo it and style it and that's it. So remember for this video, I didn't use any detangling tools like brushes or combs just because I didn't want to break my hair off or do anything like that to damage it. And also, Make sure you are keeping your hair in styles that prevent it from getting tangled the way mine was. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. Make you do what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.